say bye. Can you give mommy a kiss? Mwah. Thank you. Kiss, that's right. Wait. All right, let's put these headphones in for a second so mommy can talk. Ready? Now I gotta do your hair. All right, guys. Oh no, this gotta go. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right, I'm being childish. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I didn't think this through with Mila's hair with the headphones in. I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, I wanted to come on here and chat with you guys. We just started our morning routine, so I will run some clips of those. Mila's giving me her headphones because she wants her tablet. But we are trying to take a break from the tablet, Mila, so we can't have our headphones, right? Come on, let's get your teeth Come on. <laughs> let's see. Come on, you went to the dentist. You, But you went to the dentist. You can do it, come here. Thought we just gonna do this on camera, but we gotta go to hard route again. Be right back, guys. See how she's trying to hit me? See how that? I don't like it, Mila. Come on, come on. You wanna do it yourself? Come here. You are silly, girl. All right, I had to wash her face. I mean, I had to get the toothpaste, brush her teeth. All camera. Let me see. Look at that pretty girl. I like to brush her teeth in the, somebody's moody this morning. I like to brush her teeth in the bathroom so she knows that's where she gets it done. But Lord have mercy, I have to hold her down to brush her teeth. So that's that. So I'm trying not to give her her tablet um, in the morning. And I try to just get her to chill out. Um, but Mila has her moves where she wants to wake up happy, and then she has her moves where she wants to wake up moody, okay? Um, so these are one of the days where she's waking up moody, and I was like, I don't know if I want to record this video because she's waking up in a bad mood, but honestly, this is like real life, so we're going to get it done. And usually by now, I would have gave in and gave her a tablet. But I'm not doing that today. Bit of the day. Check you out. Nice and comfy. This sweatshirt is from Target. It's so cute. She is in a mood, okay? A whole mood. And I need to get ready so the tablet might have to come out for a second. Where's my phone, Mila? Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Pray for me. This is so sad. She's so happy she's about to get her tablet. Ew, you all in your nose, girl. Look, I haven't seen a smile all morning. Now I'm seeing a smile because of this, this tablet. Like, wow, Mila. Wait, I have to turn it on, patience. I failed. She's in love. You didn't even smile at mommy this morning. You didn't even smile at mommy. We gotta do your hair anyways. BRB. All right, now I got Mila out my hair and gave her her tablet. Yes, I gave in. Okay, I feel bad about it, but I had to. Um, Y'all know the drill, my little bun bun. with her tablet now now y'all see why I always give in I don't know why this is zooming in my face now y'all see why I always give in and give her tablet because it makes her content and she sits there and she's fine while I get myself together and it makes life much easier so I know it would be easier when she goes to school though so I'll take it in a little bit um Mila is 
having her preschool evaluation April 7th. Um, ABA therapy is at the moment definitely on pause. Hopefully this is focusing, but it's on pause right now, guys. Let me tell you. I went through a whole process. If you haven't seen in my last videos, go check those out. I went through a whole process of putting her in ABA therapy. They told me that yes we have spaces available blah 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 um so a month goes by i go through the insurance phone calls different evaluations i had to do with them it was a lot that i had to do right i hadn't heard from them i said maybe insurance is taking a while I'll give them a call they said they'll give me a call by the end of the week they're having some scheduling issues so i said okay it's not on the insurance part it's on their part they finally call and when they call they tell me yeah, we've been short staff. I'm sorry, but she'll start April 11th. Okay, if you short staff, is she going to have the same therapist every day? How is that going to work? Um, they tell me that, well, yeah, about that. She'll start in our center, and then three weeks after she starts in our center, her ther therapist will be leaving, and you'll have to re we'll have to send her to another location at another center. First of all, you're not i don't even know what other center you're talking about but i haven't visited that other center second i'm not sending my daughter to you guys for three weeks and then changing her to a different location if you know and your child's on the spectrum they don't like much change why would i do that so now you're playing with my time you're playing with my child because you feel like it's okay to send her to another location after three weeks i'd be in a your location so I was very upset about it. I felt very overwhelmed because I kind of thought I had everything together with ABA therapy and preschool. And I felt like it was inconsiderate for them to just tell me like that. So I actually thought about it and I said, you know what, everything happens for a reason. And maybe ABA therapy wasn't for Mila because as you know, A, dance, dance. As you know, people have their different thoughts about ABA therapy. So I just feel like we're gonna hold off on it and maybe it's not the right time for Mila to go to ABA therapy. But that's a little life update. Thursday is her preschool evaluation. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for our little video. Hope you guys enjoy. Yay. All right, hair done, we'll take it. We're not going anywhere fancy, it looks neat. So that's all that matters. Um, as you can um, tell from the beginning of the video, I was so irritated that ABA therapy didn't work out. Um, I feel like everything happens for a reason, so I'm not going to dwell on it. Um, and maybe I feel like ABA therapy maybe wasn't meant for her and, or wasn't the right time or the right location. So I'm not going to dwell on it too much. But I did feel a, I just hate when people are inconsiderate because I took so much time and effort. And I just feel like if y'all didn't have the space or the staff, y'all should have just told me that. You know what I mean? Because it takes a lot of time and effort. Even to do these little calls and evaluations, it takes time. And people think it's easy, but it's not. Um, I literally sat on a, almost a two-hour call one day with them. And clearly for nothing because we're not even going through with it now. So, it's a process. Um, but I feel like once we're settled in on what we're doing or where she's going to school, things will fall into place. Um, which I thought they were, but now we're... I'm just throwing out ABA therapy right now, so. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Bless you. She got her tablet now. She's not paying me no mind. She's like, girl, do whatever. Do my hair. Do whatever you want to do. I got my tablet. I'm good. I totally forgot to film. So, we went to the grocery store. Mila had been to the grocery store in the past, but like in a stroller. It was like a quick stroll through. But today she actually got in a cart. I was a little concerned with her being overstimulated because I heard some kids can get overstimulated in the store and the mall and stuff like that. But she actually did well. I didn't record, but I recorded a video on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, well, Mila's Instagram is micro preemie underscore Mila. It will be down in the description too. Um, but I made a reel and she did really well there. Um, this vlog has been all over the place, I know. It's so hard when I'm dealing with her and taking the camera as well. So, bear with me. Um, but I am about to get her ready for a bed. I just got the shower, so we're winding down now. Um, so, super excited for her preschool evaluation, which is tomorrow. So, I think that will be great. Um, and I'm just ready for her to start school. I think she needs to be in a new environment. She loves learning now, so... Um, I think all of this is just going in hand in hand. 
I think she needs to be on my other kids. And I think I say this in every vlog. But I'm just so ready for preschool to start. And get my baby somewhere around other people other than me. Okay. So right now I'm in the closet because it's loud in my room. Mila has her tablet out. I'm getting her stuff, stuff ready for her bath. Y'all know me. I keep everything right in here so it's nice and easy. So we're going to go now. Hold on. Be right back. I was in the closet getting her stuff ready. Mila was in her bed. She has disappeared since then. Um, I'm going to go find her because she knows bath time and she doesn't like the bath. So we'll see. Yeah, I know my hair is never out long. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my little bun because it's needed. <laughs> And let me tell y'all what Mila did. She decided that she was going to go to sleep at 4 o'clock this evening and think she was going to sleep the night away and be up all night. Not. So I had to wake her up. And she's so moody. So, and I have to wash her hair and everything else and I'm not ready for it. Y'all, pray for me. Pray for me. This detangler brush works wonders. It's really good for her hair. And I showed y'all the detangler spray before, but I think Mila is running away from me. We have to get in the bath, honey bun. You ready? You gotta get in the bath. So potty training hasn't been going the worst. I've been taking her to the pot every 30 minutes. Okay, I've been taking her to the pot every 30 minutes to an hour depending on when she's drinking something and she's done pretty well um, She knows when I say let's go pee pee in the pot. She goes to the bathroom. She sits on the toilet. She doesn't mind it um, And She's also poofing in the pot. So I I try to catch her when she's using the bathroom um, but her on the pot earlier and she actually just pooped in the pot without me saying anything after like two minutes. Usually I have to catch her when she's about to go to the bathroom. I'm like, you're about to poop. Let's go to the bathroom. But she's been doing really good with potty training. Don't know if she understands this. That's where she goes to the bathroom. I mean, I don't know. But anyways, she doesn't mind it. She's been peeing in the pot, pooping in the pot. Her diaper hasn't been as wet as it usually is. Um, but I still think it's going to be a process, um, but I'm doing my part and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. So that's that. I have Mila in the bath now. Um, and yeah, uh, I told you I got you guys about ADA therapy earlier. And maybe it's just not meant to be. I don't know. We'll see though. I am taking it day by day. That's all we can do. All I keep hearing is this frog noise. I don't know if y'all hear it, but Mila has this habit of setting alarms on her tablet now. And it's going off. One time it went off at 3 in the morning. Now I'm about to do her hair. It's so crazy how fast. Y'all look like who done in a while. But it's so crazy how fast her hair dries. I literally just washed it like and it's drying already so I'm about to do that all her hair stuff is right here and she's probably about to fight me so yeah let's get into it say I'm nice and clean say one two three four five you're not a mood okay what about can mommy make a kiss can I get a kiss Mwah, thank you she's like girl get out my face Mila Say hi. Uh, hi. Can you say mama? Can you say mama? Yeah. I've been trying to get her to say mama forever. The moment or the day she says mama, I'm going to pass out on the floor. And no, she's never said it. I don't think. So, I'm going to pass on the floor and then I'm going to wake back up and cry. <laughs> she's trying to brush her hair. Y'all see that? <laughs>
right you can see the difference in the hydrated side from the dry side so i moisturize this side really good you can't really tell it's kind of dark in here but it's moisturized and i put the moisturizer on and combed everything through so we want to moisturize the other side now well done prepare for tomorrow I always put her hair in two little braids and in the morning take the braids out and just put the two ponytails in. Simple, easy, to the point. And I don't have to hear her fussing a whole bunch. Got this really cute Starbucks cup. It's so cute. And Mila decided to get to it. She chewed the straw. And I love it so much. So I'm probably going to buy another straw and replace it. Because <laughs> I have water in it. And I came in my room and she's just drinking it. So, Pretty much, that kind of ends our night. Um, Mila is now at her circle time board meeting. She probably wants to go over her numbers and colors. I feel like she's been doing really well with picking up on things and kind of figuring out our routine. If I say circle time, she goes over there. If I say pee, -pee in the pot, she'll go to the pot. So I know she's picking up on certain things. Um, it's just a matter of being consistent with it. <laughs> if I can get my baby to talk, it'll be so much easier. Or even do sign language. She has picked up on some things with sign language so i am not too concerned i feel like everything will fall in place as she gets older and pick up with more things and goes to school i'm super anxious about her evaluation don't know why because we have had multiple evaluations and this one is actually virtual so it's not a big deal but i'm just ready for her to go to for her to go to school um I pick up on new things and learn new things and just have a sense of and just to have a sense of something being normal in life like when we went to the grocery store earlier and I, I kind of felt like this is life this is me putting me in the cart we're going shopping um, we're doing things because some things I feel like I hold off on because I just know it will be a lot for Mila but I want her to experience everything um, so I feel like even just dropping her off at school is a sense of like this will is what life is like um if you get what i'm saying the parents that get it get it um because even when she went to summer camp for like that one week i was like wow this is different i got a little bit of me time i was picking her up and i don't know if i told you guys but she was going to a, a summer camp and it wasn't specifically for autistic kids or anything like that it was just a normal summer camp so I would let her go for half a day. I would come in there and me was like the only kid up. Everybody was at the lunch lunch table eating lunch. And um, her teachers were fine with it. But I just want her to not get lost in the classroom so much. So I felt like, but right now she will go to a school um, with majority of autistic kids. And guys, if I word anything wrong or you feel offended by it, I'm so sorry. I'm still, I'm learning things as I go because I know some parents don't like the word autistic I don't know it's just a lot that comes with it um but I don't want her to get lost in the classroom so I would like her to go to school with teachers that specialize with autistic kids and then if she outgrows and I feel like she's ready for school with neurotypical kids then that's what we'll do but right now I'm not rushing her I want her to get all the help she can um and that's just that speech therapy I feel like I'm going to put her back in speech therapy um once I find a great one. But for right now, ABA therapy is on hold. We're just dealing with preschool. And hopefully after her evaluation, we can figure out what days everything's going to happen. And then I'll go just try to find a speech therapist um, that I feel like is experienced and that fits me little well. So this vlog was kind of like all over the place. It was a lot of chit-chatting, but y'all are my friends. So you guys are who I chit-chat to and I can relate to the most. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. I'm gonna go find my child now. Um, and yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye. Come here, Mila. Come here. Say bye. Can you give mommy a kiss? Thank you.